Very, very cool technology on that Airstream and what, what I didn't film, she was mentioning earlier that uh, you don't need a weight distribution hitch anymore because it's like an electronic weight distribution hitch and uh, the trailer will communicate with the tow vehicle and electronically uh, adjust for any kind of sway or anything like that. It's, it's really cool, really cool, really cool. Let's see if it, you know, makes it to market. There you go. Come on, join in everyone. Hey, good to be back home. Well, one of the nice things about the F uh, Florida RV Super Show is the vendors building here. And uh, before it gets way too crowded, let me show you a little bit what they have. Of course, not everything is, uh, uh, you know, RV related. They have jewelry, they have uh, all kinds of things, but it's mostly accessories to enhance your RV life. They have RV resorts, of course, which I'm going to show you the big one in the middle. All kinds of products to, for you to clean things up. And uh, yeah, look at that, look at that, those, those big brushes there to clean the RV. We're just going to walk around a little bit and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, 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 patch in some videos that I took yesterday. Hey, Robert. Well, hello everybody and welcome once again to the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. We're here in the Vendors Building and uh, today we're going to be chatting with Robert from Camping Tools and this is a new social network for, for camping. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your product here? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a social site so you get to go and upload your photos, your videos uh, about your trip. So it's really organized, uh, really easy to... Uh, go out create your trip you can add all the campgrounds that you stayed at along your trip and so when you upload your photos everything's organized nice and neat um, you can also write stories uh, you go out and you write um, you know where you've been what you've done you, the stories are public so you share it with the world and real close real soon we're coming out with a marketplace so a marketplace so you can if you have some gear use gear that you want to sell you're going to have categories and all that absolutely so you know 
it's um it's free to post stuff mm -hmm. uh for sale so you know just just have at it. Are you gonna get a commission off of it or is it just completely free? Uh, it's just completely free. Okay, show, show me a little bit here about like uh, what would it look like, uh, what it would look like for a post, for example. Yeah, right. So you've got your home page and you go and you create an account. Uh, once you create an account, you have your trips. So you go create your trip, then you add in all of your campsites that you have so that when you do upload photos, Everything's organized. It's just super easy. Um, you can have journal articles, uh, journal entries, mm -hmm. so that you know maybe there's a restaurant or someplace you wanted to remember the next time you go there, you'll have that ready for you. Yeah, it is almost like having your own journal, like your own per personal blog, even like a, a journal for you to remember and for you to share with all your 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 future friends here on Camping Tools. Absolutely, and so the stories are great. So if you want to put something out to the world, um, you know, you really want to tell somebody about this great trip that I took. Uh, this is public facing. So a new feature we just added here was when you add a story, if you have existing content over on YouTube, you can just paste in the YouTube URL so you're streaming your video from another channel. So you're going to boost your exposure. Yeah, so when the photos, when you upload the photos, uh, we've got some artificial intelligence baked in. So it scans the content of the photo and automatically generates these keywords. And then, of course, you can add more to them. This is really cool. Is this live already or are, or are you? It is live. The social part is fully functional. Um, you can go and add uh, friends. So you get your friends to go out and uh, sign up with a free account. It's, you know, it's just like any other social, it's a free account. And then you can add them so you can share your trips with them. I have a question. Are, we gonna have, are you going to have groups also in the future? Like if, if you want to group your friends into a... I don't know, or the friends that went to, with you on a trip to Alaska, you think? Are you Absolutely. Groups like that. That would be a cool feature to have. Well. Absolutely. So, you know, you can just share them with the group and the caravan gets all access to it. All right, Robert, I really, I really like the look. It looks very modern. And uh, I'm definitely going to gonna check it out. I'm going to give it a try. All right, awesome. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we continue here at uh, one of the vendors building here, the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. And we are here with, uh, what's your name again? Jim, Jim with uh, the inflatable RV skirt, air skirts. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about your product here. Sure, so uh, when you're camping in cold weather, typically you need some sort of uh, perimeter around the bottom of your RV to prevent cold air from getting under there, freezing pipes, uh, preventing energy loss. And we came up with this idea because the alternatives are to drill a bunch of holes into your RV, damaging it and snapping on like a flimsy vinyl skirt or making something out of like styrofoam or hay bales. And this solution just inflates underneath and pins itself in place. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and then it doesn't take much space, right? Because you can deflate it and... And it's uh, deflated, it packs up, and then of course, um, when you another cool feature of it is that when you get a new RV, you can use the same kit that you already have. So, unlike a traditional skirt that you would have to throw away or sell with your RV, you can take these with you. Yeah, it's, it's uh, are they different sizes for different RVs, or they are. So, this is our absolute biggest tube right here, uh, folded up. And that's the whole thing, that's how... It this is one tube out of a... Yeah, so an so RV, any RV... Like they go from six to eight tubes, so depending. Okay, depending um, on yeah, and they come in different diameters, too. So we sell them based on the length of the RV and how high it sits off the ground. Now, t tell me, for, for those of us, I mean, I was born in the Caribbean and I've been a lifelong Floridian. Why is this important in cold weather? Sure. Well, <laughs> I think it's important for... Well, it's important for a lot of reasons. I mean, if you want running water you have to have some sort of skirt um, you know I actually got my Airstream in order to escape the cold weather uh, but I'm from Connecticut so I would end up going back to Connecticut to see my folks for you know the holidays and I'd end up setting up to camp and realizing I'm not gonna have any running water and I'm just burning through propane burning through propane and as soon as I, my, my first skirt I made out of styrofoam, it was terrible. But once I first set up air skirts, I noticed I was going through half the propane and my water was running. So it's, that's what insulates the underbelly from, from the elements. Exactly. That's exactly right. All right, Jim, thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks so much. Premium pools and curb products.
you know, a, a lot of products like for RV cleaning and maintenance and uh, all that kind of thing, which is very cool. Here we have Margaritaville. Margaritaville, that's nice. Camp uh, license to chill. I did not know that Margaritaville had an RV park. These are MCD shades, which are very nice. You know, you have your your regular shade and then the blackout shade. So if you're camping in Alaska in the summer, that would be a good thing to have. Um, let's see what else is here. Let's go around, round and round we go. Pain-free massage pillows. There you go. Hmm. And I'm gonna go up quickly because this 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 area every year. You know, I've been coming to the Tampa RV Show now for for about almost ten years in a row, and uh, and a lot of the things are are similar. You know, they have e-bikes as well, very popular e-bikes. On the side, they have RV Vezi, whom I, I I interviewed them, if you recall, at the at the Hershey RV Show, and they're like an Airbnb Airbnb for RVing. So many things, so many things, it is almost overwhelming um, here. Here we have some, some hitches and stuff like that. BW hitches, sunglasses and clip-ons, you know, not everything is RV related. Here we have some, some uh, cooking utensils and whatnot. Um, More RV resources. Here we have Dexter. Hey, De Hi, nice to see you. Dexter. Dexter makes, a, 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 you know, the uh, axles and all that. The, the same axles that I have on my on my RV that, that they're made by Dexter. So here we have a little bit of a bottleneck. So let's. Uh, Don't be afraid, Dad. Crossing Creeks RV Resort. I actually stayed there once. There in 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 Blairsville, Georgia. Very nice RV resort and they have units for sale too as well. So that's really cool. We have camping chairs and this, look at that. Your captain's chairs for your RV. So um, you, you riding style and comfortable. Here we have Lazy Days RV resort. Camp Champ. Products. Okay. So many things, so many things. It is, uh, it is almost overwhelming, but I wanted to, to show you the, the supplier's building so you get the experience as if you were, right? Nice to see you. So as, as if you were, you know, uh, walking around yourself. It's, um, we have soft uh, cell, and this would be to soften your water, recreational water systems. There you go. You guys should just skate with us. I am a member. I am a member, yes, sir. What else do we have? We have a bottleneck here. Let me come through real quick. Yeah, bottlenecks are very common here in the in suppliers building, and it's uh, it's like 10 a.m. It's not even it's not even peak time yet. For all you travelers. Here we have some CBD oil because that's what you do, right? And uh, so many things. Look at this massage chair. That looks like something out of Star Trek. Look at that. That's that, that's very cool. And here's one of the busiest booths in the whole. In the whole, this is our, our, our friends at Techno RV here at the RV show. Hey Eric, how are you? I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi. Some fans, and this, the, the, yeah, this one is here every year. You know, uh, cooking stuff. It's it's one of those, and they're gonna have like cooking classes here. Okay. That's very cool. Uh, I feel like I should keep talking not to have fr a dead air here, but I just want to show you, do a quick walk around of everything they have. They have these uh, electric scooters here, the sewer saddlebag. Oh, that's actually. Sure, that's a great idea because as you, the, that thread on the on the sewer uh, outlet doesn't always work. So that's it. Show you how it works. How, how does it work? Very okay. Simple. 
whatever hole they give you in the campground, take a donut, mm -hmm. shove the Boom. donut in the hole, drop my bag. That's done. perfect. $24.95, the saddle bag. We might be back. We might be back for that. All right. Here we have tire minder, as you know, tire pressure monitoring systems. Very important. Here we have our friends at Clear 2O. As you know, I've been using a Clear 2O filter for a while. Uh, I go back and forth, but yeah. What you doing? Uh, I'll let him do his, his sales uh, thing there. And uh, check it out. Here we have Sun Outdoors. As you, oh, I was there. That's the Key Largo Resort. That's a beautiful tiny house they have at that Key Largo Resort. And uh, as you know, I'm, I'm partnering with Sun Outdoors. And uh, they are, you know, they have resorts all over the country. And, um, and they are here at the, at the huh, Orchard Beach. Yeah, they tend to be the, the high-end resorts uh, that you would do. And they have probably the best booth here at the, at the, at the whole show because recently they rebranded from Sun RV Resorts to Sun Outdoors. So there you go. And sometimes you just have to stop the camera and talk to, uh, talk to people. And here we have a lead RV. So many things. Sunlight. We have Verizon. Hey, maybe we can get an unlimited data plan for, for our RV. Okay, we have one more row here and then we're gonna go someplace else because this is like overwhelming. In fact, I don't know if I wanna go into that. Ah, let's do it, why not? Thank you. Robert, how are you? Hi, hey, Doc and Stowe, how are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All yeah. right, so here I am with Doc and Stowe, and uh, as you know, I've been using their blog for about two years now, and it, it's very cool because it's magnetic, so you, you don't you don't waste space in the basement and. Unfortunately, I left mine somewhere in upstate New York or Vermont or New Hampshire. I forgot where it was, but check it out. We're getting a new one. <laughs> so great to see you guys and uh, and uh, and check them out. They're here at the show and check them out at duckandstow.com, is it? All right. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. You know, I always like to come out with, with something new and exciting. So, um, yes, sir. My name's Will. I will. Nice to meet you. Called Roadmaster. I'd yeah. love to show it to you. If you oh, thank you. It. Yeah, um, sure. I actually just stalked you down. I'm over okay, here. Okay, <laughs> Roadmaster suspension. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, um, yeah. I've seen a video of you too. What, what kind of truck do you pull your? Uh, uh, I'm pulling with a Colorado right now. Colorado. I might upgrade to a Silverado uh, later, but I have a Colorado so, right now. I'd love to show you this, man. It actually attaches to your truck's leaf springs. Improves okay. stability. When you pull a camper, some miles fly past you, the trailer wants to go like this. All right, yeah. So it keeps your leaf springs from flattening out, I'm giving you that vibration. It also adds mm -hmm. a little capacity for you to keep from sagging, and it keeps your wheels planted. Traction, oh, nice. stability, capacity. And that'll fit pretty much any, any Anything truck? With a leaf you, you, yeah, okay. Anything with a leaf spring. That's cool. Roadmaster active suspension. Yeah. There you go. And it goes on just like this. It's literally fully assembled in the box. 20, 30 minute install. One hook, one bolt, hold this side, turn this side. Holds itself on with some tension. Hmm. Never has to be adjusted with or without a load. Yeah, that may, might be worth checking it out. Oh, thank you, thank you, Will. Well, there you go. So many things, and sometimes when you're just walking around, you don't get to see everything. But yeah, that suspension looks really good. We'll we'll see if we can get it installed on the Colorado or on the next rig, if anything. Hello, hello. I'm doing great. Free camping connection. All right. Can I get a selfie? We got Dexter. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me see if I figured this out. <laughs> okay, let's continue where we left off. You know, eventually I want to get one of these. A flag poles, so we'll see if we can get one of those in the in the near future here. And uh, here's once again the other side of Sun Outdoors. Win an airstream. They're giving away an airstream. Oh, RVLife.com, making RVing easier. And they have all those apps, all those apps. Very cool. 
Yeah, it is that time of the day where it is nearly impossible. And it's, it's not even that, that late yet. Let me show you here real quick. Let me just swerve in the traffic. Of course, you have a huge Thousand Trails booth here. And uh, all kinds of things. Precise satellite. Yep, those are satellite dishes. If you, if you want to get a satellite dish reception, that would be really cool. I'm not offended. Yep, nice. All kinds of things here. Let's just get out of here because it is too crowded. Too crowded in here at this time. And uh, all right, this man needs no introduction. Here we are at the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. It's Matt. What's going on, Matt? Of Matt's RV. What's going on? How's, how's the show been going for you? I'm riding. Yeah, riding. Riding in my RV. There you go. And here's Andrea. There's Will. You know, you got, you got, you got the orange booth, man. Hard, hard to miss. This you got, you got, you got the perfect color. Have you seen anything cool that, that you'd like to share with us here at the show? Yes, uh, th there's a new Class C brand called the Thor Geneva. It just came out. I yeah. did a video on Monday. It was inside mm. the showroom. Yeah. Really great price Class C out there. Mm. Um, I love the front windshield and everything. I saw that. Yeah, it has like like a, yep. and, and it does uh, the uh, the, uh, yep. the overhead. It yep. has like like a like a yeah. Cool. It, it, it's amazing. Now everybody knows my favorite unit, and it's not. Yeah as good as it quality wise but it's also 10 15 20 thousand dollars cheaper so you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um jayco has this seismic over there and then of course you guys know we love our alliance products so the yeah, brady's alliance, are over yeah. there yeah. jeremiah mm -hmm. uh, make sure you check out alliance we're on our way there thank yes. you all right Matt. it's great to see you as thank always you, and, thank uh, you. and uh, we'll, we'll keep hanging out as the show progresses Appreciate see you later it. brother so here we are at alliance rv and this is the the paradigm the 310 RL. So let's check it out. Let's walk yes. through. Yes, absolutely. So oh, oh, here we have, here yeah. we have a, <laughs> one of the Brady's. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, Thanks for coming through. No, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, so, so we have the 310 RL. We were here at the, the Tampa RV show. It's Friday today. And uh, coming off yeah. of a great first two days, I wanted to show you our number one selling floor plan here at the show, mm -hmm. which is the 310 RL. It's a, a product that has been really doing really, really well. It's full timers capable. It's um, 34 feet, 11 inches in length, but customers mm -hmm. are loving the length and they're loving the dry weight of only 12,243. Yeah, so you can so tow it with a three quarter ton truck. Three quarter ton truck. That's, exactly. that's, that's really yep. cool. Yeah. All right, I'm just, just, just step inside and yep. well, we have this huge storage down here, of course. Whoop. That's, I like that. That's very clever. Shoe storage under the under their stairs there. Let's let's begin here at the in the living area. I have flush, flush floor ki kitchen slide. That's very, that's that's one of the key features of the, this one. Floor, no, no and, carpet at all and, you, and you've got that huge oven, which huge oven was there, the, yes, the yes. very very few have that huge uh, oven. The other nice thing too is we have both air conditioners running right now, and it's not overly loud. No, you can. And it's a super efficient, efficient airflow system yeah. where the the air comes right into the RV. There's no yeah. duct work, and uh, mm -hmm. we've got a bunch of consumers that are raving about the uh, cool efficiency of the yeah. air and, and and today is one day to test it out because it's it's, it's getting warm here in in, yeah, in Florida. Almost, let me tell almost you, almost 80 degrees today. So oh, yeah. this is beautiful, man. I like the, all the accents. Yeah. It's all the hardwood. Uh, very fascia, very nice. Uh, uh, all the hardwood cabinets, exactly. Yeah. It's got the residential refrigerator, Samsung residential. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's got a nice pantry here, which is uh, awesome yeah. for extra storage for those full timers. Yeah. yeah, I like that you put you put lights inside yeah, everything, yeah, exactly. so you know. And check that shower out. All right, let's do the shower test. Oh yeah, you, you can fit almost a seven foot person in here. You know that that's one thing that a lot of tall people, uh, you know, yeah. com complain. I don't tell me about you know the options are limited when it comes to yes. to to rigs and I always yeah. tell them you know you gotta get a, a big fifth wheel. It's almost a walk-in closet in here in the front. Very nice. Big walk-in closet, king size bed standard. It's got uh, nice little hidden storage up front oh. here. It's got a 32-inch TV. 
Yeah. yeah, that that that's the smuggling compartment. You should you should mark it as. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Up. Well, and underneath there too, if you got a nice bench seat in the bath uh, in the bedroom here, and then there's storage. Oh, underneath there, there you go. So yeah, all that hidden storage really does add up. That's that's really cool one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is, oh dimmer. We, have, we even have a dimmer. Just the little the details. Dim, the, 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 yeah, the dimming switches that are nice mm -hmm. details for sure. I mean, I don't know if you saw this, but hidden storage back here. There's hidden storage. As well. Exactly. And you know, in an RV, it's all, all storage is always king, king. because we, we, it's always a compromise about you know what, all, what, how many things you can take on the road. Well, thank you, thank, thank you for you. showing me yeah. the the Alliance. Uh, which model is this again? This is the three ten RL Paradigm. Okay, here we are at Fleetwood, and this is the Fleetwood Bounder thirty five GL. Today at the show, only one hundred and eighty four thousand dollars. Check it out, these are the, the different floor plans that a fleet would, but this is the 35GL, let's see if we can go inside real quick. This is the, the outdoor uh, television set. Here are all, all the different uh, decors that you can have. And I'm gonna speak softly here because there are other people in here. In fact, we're gonna start in the back. This is, go of course, the bedroom. That's a slide out right there. You could probably still sleep in the bed with the slide in but you would lose access to all of this okay that's the washer right there washer and dryer of course on a rig of this size you would expect nothing else and it's very nice very very well it's it's uh it's particle board here we have our of course we have a mo all this multiplex uh, lighting, porcelain toilet, we we'll have a smallish sink here in the bathroom, insulated windows they say, so, uh, and of course you have MCD shades where you can just have the, the, the that shade or the blackout shade, either or, very cool, more storage here. Hi. So here we are in the galley. This is one of these very nice dip sinks. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, very similar to the one we have. Look at that faucet. Very cool. Let's go to the front here, to the to the cockpit. This is of course on the gasoline Ford chassis. I like this because it could serve as a as a dinette table. Like so, I'm sure there's a way to, yeah, to pull it out, yellow, but, but you can use it also as a desk looking out. I like that. You have your, your television set here, kind of sort of in front of your recliners where it should be with the sound bar. And we have a residential refrigerator there. Here we have a convection microwave and uh, Oh, look at that, they pull out like a little pantry drawer. And they get buried in the back of the refrigerator. And then it's like, yeah. really? There you go. I need a little side out. If you go in the refrigerator right now, huh? It's a, it's a domestic propane stove. That would be oh, look at that. More, more pull out drawers here for your pots and pans and all that kind of stuff. And this, is, this whole side here is a, is a big slide, but it looks like everything would be functional with the slide in and of course here we have a yeah it is a samsung refrigerator with the with the freezer here in the back oh there's a there's a drop down bed here there at the front and you can see on the, on the front and this is you know one of these uh, control panels where you can uh, control every uh, every single aspect you know like front ceiling and uh, they probably have a lock so we so i cannot turn off all the lights or whatnot i mean not my cup of tea but it, it is very nice indeed by the way the reason i i, I was uh, you know doing the quick walkthrough of this one is because this is a new floor plan for 2022 and it has a, a half, a, you know, the, the door is halfway into, to the back of the coach and that's another important feature there. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we can see 
Well, here we have an all-wheel drive transit, and this is a Coachman Cross Trail 20XG. It is only 23 feet long. Today at the show, only 89.995, and um, here we have like a like a garage, like a like a like a gear hauler, if you will, with the bed that goes up and down. Let me see. We we we, we were just inside, but someone else, someone else went in. So, well, the, well, we wait. This spray port. I really like it. Usually they, they put the outside shower on the other side and that spray port on, the, on your camping side. It's, it's very cool to have. Let's step inside here real quick. Another thing that I like about this guy, no slide. You have, you have no slide here. So, you know, it, it, it will be exactly the same every time. I wish we could put, do a Truma Aventa up there, but hey, nothing is perfect. We have a small microwave. Here we have a refrigerator. This is a Dometic two-way. Is this the smaller one, you know, with the freezer up here? Totally adequate. That's the hose that would go on that uh, um, outside. Quick connect. Here's the your your transit cockpit. As I said, four wheel drive transit. This is an antiquated place to put the TV. You know that that's you know when you ha we had the tube TVs, that's what they would go. But I guess it's not a bad position if you both wanna you know cuddle up on this side of the dinette and watch TV, of course. You have here a seat belt, so you could ride um, legally on the road. You have the a two burner. I don't see any like regular oven of any kind in here. Just this microwave, which is not a convection. But we have here some storage. It's magnetic, by the way. These doors are. Ma oh, look at this. I mean, not the not the best fit and finish there, but uh, nothing. A little sandpaper couldn't fix. And uh, we have this pull-out uh, pantry drawers here. Here's the shower. Let's do the shower test. And here we go. We have a few inches to spare there. And this is the Euro lift bed that will go all the way up. And then you have so much room down here uh, to, to put, you know, gear and stuff. Here's the bathroom. It is a regular uh, plastic toilet. We have, uh, we have a regular vent there, a little bit of storage up here. That will be me. Very nice, uh, you know, vertical mirror. So uh, uh, that, that would uh, accommodate people of any height, which is always good. That's a, a wardrobe closet right there. We have a towel holder, more storage down here. Mechanical switch is very nice. Let me tell you something at 23 feet, this is not bad at all, and it, come, it comes with, with free bread. What more could you ask for? So, yeah, definitely, definitely something I wouldn't be opposed to. All-wheel drive, only 23 feet long, and no slides. And let, let me step in here real quick, because this is a, the more classic Class C. You have a sleeping area here on the, on the overhead cabin. You have this TV here that will swivel around. And we have a corner bed, which is actually really good. We are, we are kind of fans of having a corner bed, although in this case, this, you know, it would be nice to be able to get off the bed. I have a feeling that I would kick this, this little glass thing and, and break it in the middle of the night. But um, you have USBs and power uh, outlets out there. Uh, same uh, microwave, three burner, uh, Magic Chef. This one actually has a, a larger, I think. Oh, and this one has a two-door refrigerator, which is very nice. And this is the Norcold uh, two-way refrigerator right there. And here's the bathroom. The shower is actually very nice, I think. More or less, a little more headroom than the other one, believe it or not. And... Uh, I would be I would be cur curious to see uh, more details like like tank sizes and all that. But I'm sure we can find that online. But yeah, this is the 20 CBT 23 feet six inches uh, long, and we have a huge, huge storage back here, accessible through the back. Yeah. Well, hello everybody. Here we are at the Winnebago motorized area and this is the new journey here and uh, I've heard great things so let's check it out real quick. This is the 40p. Let's go inside real quick. 
This is, of course, uh, the epitome of luxury here, a diesel pusher on the freight liner chassis with that digital screen that is really cool. And of course, opposing slides here in the living room. So you have sofa you know, to keep company. This is a great RV. You have that TV on a lift that will go up and down. So if you want to see the, you know, the landscape, you can see the landscape. Or if you want to watch your favorite Netflix, you can watch it too. Here we go. This is that dinette that would retract and you can probably even use this as a desk at some point. We have some pantry. Look at that pull out pantry. We could have, we could do a lot of things here. Beautiful. Residential refrigerator as you would expect, a Samsung here. Very nice, so roomy, especially as you have the multiplex a, a system there. Here's a half bath, you know, halfway to, uh, to the back of this. Because sometimes, you know, it's, this is this is an RV meant to entertain. Look at this, and it is beautiful in here. You have induction cooktop. Here you have you have a dishwasher and a huge sink here. Look at all these accessories. And oh, we already lost the screw. A huge pull-out drawers here and uh, let's just look at the, at the bedroom real quick look at that king-size bed on a smaller slide here you have a sliding door here so so you know if, if you have half company you they can stay at the front use the half bath and if you want some privacy you come back here he will have this uh, television set which uh, with a sound bar I don't know if you can open that up I don't want to break anything you know because this is a, uh, a very expensive RV and then look at this, look at this uh, bathroom here in the back. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we have some washer dry here, of course. Yeah, you wouldn't expect anything else from a premium uh, Winnebago diesel pusher. Dual sinks here, you know, for you, so for you, you getting ready for that happy hour uh, in the campground. You know, that's what you would do. Oh, let's, you just pull them out. Here's a toilet, which, oh, that's, that's how the, 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 the roof vent goes up or down, you know, very good location because sometimes, that, oh, and you have the, it is a electric flushing toilet. Let's uh, step into the, into the shower. Here we have the two, you know, you have the, the handheld and you have that rain is shower head up there and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you are seven feet tall, you would fit in here. There's a, there's a trap door here on the floor. I would assume that's like the smuggling compartment, but I don't know. In any case, this is very nice. And, uh, and we had to do at least, at least one diesel pusher in the whole show, right? This is, by the way... You see there's a counter expansion. MSRP, this is... Actually, only 35 feet, six inches uh, long. So it's not the longest one by any means. And uh, let's find out the price. Yeah, that's a huge screen too, right there. Yeah, that's the, the new Winnebago Journey. It has aqua hot comfort zones on board. And uh, yeah. Actually, no, the, the paper they have inside is wrong. It's 41 feet, four inches long. I know it had to be longer than that with the middle bath and all that. And, uh, and here we have the Hungry Cuban. Is this the one you're getting? Uh, no, I already have one like that. Oh, you have one like that's, that? That's yeah. one you're gonna get. Not I, I'm not ready for this yet. Yeah, but, uh, no, no, we have a Tiffin, are... a 2014 Tiffin Allegro bus. All right. We love that. All right. Well, it's good to see you here at the show again. It's good yeah. to see you, yeah. buddy. Have a good one. You too. Yeah, I don't see any pricing info, but I'm sure if you scan this QR code, you'll learn a lot more about this model. Oh, by the way, look at all the pass-through storage we have down here. One, two, and then this one is not as, 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 as tall, but it's still very, very, very large uh, cavernous. Um, and as you know, diesel pushers are not my area of expertise. 
So I don't have a whole lot of information about, uh, uh, you know, tanks or what type of water heater they have or that sort of thing. But let's just walk around it. Yeah. The epitome of luxury, as I like to say. Legendary Adventure, the SR2 RV Freightliner by Tiffin here. And take a look at that. Take a look at that big motor. Let's see, let's see if we can step inside and see what it is like. This is the 2022 exterior here. And um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to step inside here real quick. Okay, MSRP 600 and, I mean 363 and change and today at the show you can have it for just under 309. How about that? Oh. Let's step inside the epitome of super sea luxury here. And here we, here we have the, that freight liner cockpit, which is not the digital one, it's just a regular fret liner uh, cockpit. Wait, you have a slipping surface here on the top on, on these struts that are very easy to, to put up and down with the ladder there. Little window up there. Here on this slide you have a sofa. And across the room on this other slide you have your TV and your dinette. And, um, and this will, of course will retract if you need more room opposing slides right here that's why you have this huge huge room here of course to control everything you have one of these screens that i usually like to play with oh this one is actually and there's there's a button where you can turn off all the lights but i won't do it <laughs> we have pull out pantry which is very nice very deep drawers here to put all your stuff here we have a mid coach bathroom a half bath for, you know, for your, if you have visitors and you don't want them to, to step into your private area, you can, you know, have them there. Here in the galley, very premium materials. We have induction cooktop, which seems to be a trend. Everybody putting more and more only electric appliances. That's your, your dishwasher, a two-door LG residential refrigerator. Very nice. And then here in the bedroom, I'd like to see this TV in the middle, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Very nice closet. You know, you, did you see that? It just turned on when I got close to it. That's very nice. You know, those are little details. USBs to charge your phones and whatnot. That's the emergency exit right there. Tons of drawers down here. And here in the back is the bathroom that we're gonna see in a few seconds here. Very nice king bed, king size bed with a ceiling fan. You have your, all your controls, you have USBs on both sides and power outlets on both sides. This is another small slide here in the, in the bedroom. And now finally here we have the bathroom, the bathroom single sink here in the back. Let's do the, let's do the, the, the shower test and I'm sure a seven foot person would, oops, would fit in here somewhat comfortably. You don't like the light? Oh, there's, a, there's artificial light. Or natural light, whichever you like. <laughs> yeah, premium materials as you would expect on a rig of this size and price. Washer and dryer here in the bathroom. Of course, you had that domestic electric flushing system. Ooh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, all that. All that multiplex wiring. Yeah. This is very nice, and now there's nobody here. Okay. This one is not the, the automatic kind. Your, your guests get to use the, the, foot, the foot pedal. So yeah, this is the lounge edition. This is, this is a brand new uh, rig for, for this year. And now if we go to the lighting page, I always like to do this. Boom, turn everything off. Turn it off. Anyway. Wherever I want to be 
and guys I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. <laughs>